timer flip seven times. BT system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. All right, it's me, Mikey Pipes, and Godzilla. Going to a plumbing service call. Yes, Mikey Pipes works on plumbing too. <laughs> I know it seems kind of funny because I usually work on just Navians and it should be a uh, Navy and Mikey channel, but it's Mikey Pipes. And we're going on a plumbing service call. The guy's uh, tub and shower is kind of messed up. We'll go take a look and see what's going on. Stay tuned. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Tired. <laughs> I hear you. Good morning. Yeah. Here for a tub issue? Here for, yeah. Maybe some other stuff, I'm not sure yet. Okay. You want us to come in? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you guys mind shoes off in the house? Of course. Thanks. Very easy. Appreciate it. Pleasure. I'm going to be a little slow right now because I work overnights. So oh. this is like the middle of my night. Sorry. No, no, no. Don't be sorry. I'm going to be funny. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Oh, nice socks. Bombas? Yeah. Well, you're checking out my socks, huh? Right. Is it this bathroom? Yeah, yeah we, we moved in about a week ago. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. Nice big old house. Big old. Old is old. Old is the key word. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I thought it was working fine when we checked it, but now... Okay. Yep, you need to dump stuff. Okay. And that's fine. So, yeah, it comes out of both. Oh, good. Very easy. All right. What else you got going on? Oh, this thing locked up. Okay. Good idea. So the uh, the trip lever, lever yeah. plate. Okay. Um, Sorry. Right. Um, I'm gonna just say. Uh, too long and then it takes kind of a long time for it to fill up again okay i don't know possibly maybe the valve's not open all the way or the fill valve inside the toilet is bad i don't know okay I have no idea. so plate tub spout toilet yeah anything else mm -hmm. thank you and i we just wanted you to look at the basement and let's go see. check the system you know let's go see i had everything else done before we moved Yeah. Yeah. I, I put my shoes on and down there. No problem. Not there. Try to keep house clean. Yeah, she's not in there. I got hydraulic heat. That's the expected response. Yeah, I'll put that in the house. I have back in the space. By the way, I love my sneakers. I love my sneakers. Ah. That pressure, the, uh, the well pump of the uh, the vessel for pressure. Where's your boiler? The boiler's in there. The, uh, there used to be steam. Maybe a two pipe steam system here. Burnham. Where is that light switch? Um, it's actually, there's no yet. Okay. Got a Burnham. Looks like a 205. P205, two zones. We got an AOSmith 40 gallon water heater. Okay. I'm Mike and this is Steven. Expansion tank held on with band iron, also in the wrong orientation. And you know, you can blame these guys because they installed it. Yep. But uh, overall, it looks okay. At least that expansion tank is in the right orientation. There's a bypass valve, they're partially closed, well, partially open. I guess for boiler primary loop piping, but why they did that, hmm, don't know. Okay, but she works. Get a sprinkler head there. All right. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to give her a tune-up, maybe in the beginning of the uh, heating season next year. Um, what we can do today, it's up to you. Your call. Uh, just a couple observations, that tank right there, is in the wrong orientation. It needs to be vertical, not horizontal. Hmm. And they got creative when it comes to supporting it with that band iron, but 
it's going to eventually cause the relief. When this tank fails, the relief valve is going to eventually drip because it needs to absorb pressure. Okay. Um, they might have installed that pressure tank because where's the water main? Um, there's your water main. There's your sprinkler system line. Hmm. And maybe the inspector asked for it when they converted maybe oil to gas, possibly. They asked for an expansion tank, but they shouldn't have put it in that orientation. Other than that, I don't see any drips. I don't see any rust, corrosion on anything. Uh, well, a couple of the old valves on the uh, galvanized piping that you have for, yeah, yeah. for water. And this one, this looks like it goes outside, maybe for a hose faucet or old sprinkler system. Yeah, see, it's an old house, old piping. Mm -hmm. However, I think they did change over some, some lines. I think some of it is a is yeah. They've been changing it over slowly over time. That's what happens when you have like a hundred year old house. All right, we're gonna repair the toilet. We're gonna repair, <laughs> repair that tub. And we don't need the putty. No? Nope, no putty. We gotta repair the toilet with a new fill valve. Wolverine, ultimate finale. Fill valve, ball cock. It's a ball cock. You know what a ball cock is, Steven? Yeah. <laughs> and tub spout. off and sweat this on so it's gonna slide right on there like that see that all right Godzilla's working on the toilet Getting the water out of the tank to replace that fill valve, aka ball cock. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> you thought I was joking? Yeah. Well, listen, you did pipe stretch it to me already. So yeah, I did do pipe stretch. You know, like too. I don't really trust you fully. Anymore. <laughs> All right. See, that's gonna go just like that, and we're gonna solder right there. You see, right there. We're gonna solder that. So this linkage is stuck in there. So let me pull out the cotter pin. See, I knew that was gonna happen. Now we're fucked. Close that. And that connect. And that is what we call the can of worms. <laughs> Steve, let me get the uh, the pipe wrench that's in the uh, tool bag. Let me see 
back in there. Let's see. That? So now we're stuck there. Look, she's wedged in there. Solid. Just broke right off. Cause it hasn't been used in forever. Mm. So it just seized up. Shim. I gotta get this thing back together so you have a tub to use. Well, yeah, yeah. Do you use this tub every day? Yeah, we yep. <laughs> we use the shower. Loosen up the slip nut. I wasn't joking about the can of worms. <laughs> no, I got it. All right, so that was in there at one point. What was there? Some of your stoppage right there. And then put it back in. Dope on there. Now, try to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to have to get this in there first. Thing we're here for is the shower yeah well <laughs> you asked <laughs> yeah. careful what you asked for we right. yeah, still use the shower yeah, part of it shower. so Probably. Oh, even the, it's 
cracked right there. I have to cut this down a little bit. Steven, you're right over there. Yeah. What's I hear some squeaking so sounds over there. Yeah, it's me turning the nut. What's going on? Uh, nothing. It's all right. Just gotta tighten it up. I'm not going to go around the, the slip nut. Water test time. Make sure she's not leaking. So far, so good. Clean that with a wire brush. 
Change that flapper. Something a little different. Show some sure. diversity. Yeah. You know, I got a little up to the name. I am Mikey Pipes. I'm not just Mikey Navian. Exactly. You know, and went there for that tub spout that wasn't working. And of course, you know, it leads to a can of worms because yep. then he wants me to look at the tub trip lever assembly, which is not working. And I immediately think it's just the plate when 99% of the time it is the plate that's just messed up. You got to replace it. But in this case, you know, the linkage down below and that little barrel that sits inside the uh, tub uh, trip lever assembly was basically seized and seized up in place and it wasn't going anywhere ever. And that led me to the access panel behind the tub, which then I noticed that the little shoe was a little cock going into the T. And of course I got to try to take it apart and everything gets loosened up. And fortunately, Mikey Pipe saved the day. Yes, sir. And Godzilla was working on that that toilet and we didn't get any footage of the the immediate recall my first one guys. it was a it was a recall because one. we were in the truck the key was the ignition we started rolling film we did 10 seconds into it he goes hey hey come back yeah. and he did not lock the hush valve uh into place so as soon as we left it popped up and lifted up the toilet tank lid and started filling and he heard that and he called us hey Mikey Pipes, come back. Come back. We need you. Anyway, a little diversity, a little plumbing service call. I'm not a fan of plumbing. I prefer my heating and air conditioning much easier. You know, unless it's a 100 degree day in an attic, changing out a blower motor. That sucks. But we're on our way to a ductless service call. So maybe I'll get some footage, maybe not. But in any case, I gave you food. Here it is. Enjoy. Enjoy.